general pitch um, for the financial inclusion segment. Um, we're going to move to the ed tech segment now. Um, we're going to do a startup pitch. Um, I hope everybody on this panel are ready. Um, judges for this section are Dari Adebayo, the co-founder of Edvest. Is Dari Adebayo here? Okay, Dari Adebayo is here, and then we have um, Jennifer is coming back. Interesting, Jennifer. Jennifer Neji of the Ventures Garden Group. And then finally, we have um, Babatunde Akimosis, oh, wow. who is the CEO of the, the Sycamore Group. Please, let's give them a round of applause as they come on stage. So, sorry, I've, I keep on saying panel. It's not a panel. It's a pitch um, session. And Rachel, Rachel, are you pitching talent here or old school? Old school. Um, so Rachel is going to be pitching All School Africa, and we have our inestimable panel of judges. Clap for them again. We'll get back to this conversation later. Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel Noja, and I'm the director of learning at All School Africa. The Nigerian education system did not prepare me for today's job market. I graduated from school and began applying for jobs, right? But somehow, the opportunities I could access right now were from the 1950s. Don't blame me, I was taught Fortran, Kobo, assembly language. There was no way I could compete in today's market. I am not alone in this quest for technical skills. 600,000, next slide please. Next slide, next slide. Uh, next slide. 600,000 Nigerians graduate every year with bachelor's degree, somehow 33% of us remain unemployed. Half a million Africans are looking for a way to put food on their table at the end of every month. Everyone is looking for more opportunities. Opportunities in tech keep rising, and it is inevitable, it will keep rising. The people to fill these opportunities, the gap is too wide. How can we ensure that every African has access to such opportunities such that they can compete on a global scale. Next slide, please. Compared to the Nigerian educational system, which provides a curriculum or updates their curriculum seven to 10 years too late, All School Africa is solving this problem through providing innovative content for Africans made by Africans. Next slide, please. Through our one-year learning program, you gain access to nine months of structured learning, soft skill training, mentorship, and three months of internship. Next slide, please. In October 2021, we launched the School of Engineering, and later this year, we plan on launching School of Product, School of Data, anything that the market needs. Whatever technical skill anyone needs to move forward and access opportunities on a global scale, compete on a global scale, all school is ready to ensure that everyone has access to these technical skills. Next slide, please. Compared to other coding boot camps and online nano degrees, which cost a minimum of $1,000, Old School Africa is a sure path, cost effective way towards accessing online education within a period of one year. And also, for the sake of ensuring that there's a lower entry barrier, it's accessible to anyone who has the an SSE certificate. Talk about accessibility. Next slide, please. We went into the market through these mediums and are still pushing hard, and we know that we are reaching every customer out there. Next slide, please. Our business model is simple. We accept an application fee of $20. Meanwhile, students get to pay tuition for as minimal, little as $50 to $500 over a period of their training, and they can also access education for free until they are done, they get a job, and then pay back through our income sharing uh, agreement. Talk about inclusion. Next slide, please. Traction till date. Since we launched in Q4 2021, we've welcomed eight, over 8,000 applications 
from over 19 countries, generated 180,000 in revenue, and signed with our first university partner, and this is just the beginning. Next slide, please. If we are able to accept 2,000 students every cohort, we are on track to making $1 million every year per cohort, and this is from one school. For each school we put out, it's estimating a rise in generation of income. Next slide, please. Meet Olua Shete Miyojo, an engineer who joined our pipeline program. For us in all school, the goal is how can we ensure that from the moment you join the all school program till you become, from the day you start coding, till the day you become a CTO, we are supporting you through a support structure. Olua Shete Miyojo joined our program such that he was aiming to be able to compete on a global scale as a world-class engineer. Through access to mentorship from engineering managers from Spotify, McKinsey and Co., he was able to land a job just last month, and the program is not over yet. Next slide, please. With the prize money, we would be able to tap into the francophone market, which remains untapped. All opportunities are pointing towards anglophone. We want to go into other African countries. The old school program is for every African, not just English-speaking Africans. Next slide. Our team comprises of experts with learning and development experience across the continent. Next slide, please. All school is a beacon of hope to every African. It is for anyone who is looking for an easy way to transition into tech. It is for the 38 year old man who reached out to us on Facebook asking, I just have an SSE, can I join you? It is for the Uber driver who is looking for a way to move forward. It is for each of our Nigerian youth or African youth who don't want to wait five years before getting started with their life. Thank you very much. Hello. Um, okay, our judges, you can go. Feedback, please. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. That was longer than normal, but yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> Well done on your presentation, right? Um, just to ask, I would like you to elaborate on your unique selling point compared to the other um, competitors that you've highlighted, right? What should we be looking out for in terms of what would actually push you out there and make you better than these other ones you've mentioned? I'm sorry, your, your mic unique, was not can you hear me? Clear. Yeah, it's clear. better now. Um, the, your value proposition, right? I want you to elaborate on the unique selling point that you bring to the table. That's old school. Mm, I didn't get that. Uh, Hello? Sorry. Unique. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unique selling uh, yes, proposition. Yes, okay, unique yeah. selling point. So for us at old school, we pride ourselves in ensuring that everybody who joins the program has access to quality content, right? Most of the online content you find right now are built from other countries. But we are building our content here in Lagos. We have a studio already set up. Aside that, most other boot camps would need you to come down to a physical location. For us, we are ensuring that it's accessible to everyone. We are partnering with organizations that are making it such that you don't even need a computer. You can access coding skills from every device. That is, maybe, let me not say not, not, not every device, but you can access coding skills from your normal phone and then also ensuring that you have access to data at a subsidized rate, not that you have to pay so much. Then we're also leveraging community because a lot of online programs have, you just come online, but for us we are ensuring that we are partnering with tech hubs across the world or across Africa to see that engineers can come to their tech hub spaces, reach out to them, they have access to data, they have access to power, and every bi-weekly or, yeah, bi-weekly they can come together with all of their peers. If you are getting if you have issues, you get unblocked through these peer learning group processes.
So, um, hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So, what are you doing? Thank you. Great presentation. Yeah. Um, I've been following all schools since inception, and you guys have been doing a great job. I'm curious, your, your revenue model, right? Um, you can either pay right now or when the engineer gets a job. Yeah. Um, what's, the, um, what's the plan around ensuring collection of the fees at that time? Is the burden on the student or the employer? And how do you guys? Um, how do you guys envisage you go around collecting it? Because, I mean, people enjoy services, but sometimes it might be challenging to actually, you know, get your, re your money back after the person has um, gone through the program. So what's the plan around that? Okay, so we are approaching it in, can you hear me? Yeah, we're approaching it in different areas, right? So we are partnering with banks, so such that you could have all of these engineers onboarded to a particular banking system. Using their BDN, you can track when, so they don't have to pay immediately, just like I said, you pay after you've gotten a job, right? So you start tracking, okay, by the time you have one year of like relaxed mode, you get to start paying back through the banking, um, the BBN, you can track that. Another way is we understand that not everyone, as much as we are trying to get everybody into the digital payment system, not everyone can go th that way, right? So we're partnering with digital payment platforms such as CUDA, etc., who have agents in different places, you can quite literally walk up to them and pay. Remember when you were in school and then you have to go through the whole process of remitter, and that was a very tedious process. So while we are actively trying to see how to get people the skills they need, pending when they are done and start paying, we know that it's not a straightforward process. So we're trying to be as inclusive as possible, ensuring that everybody can pay in a system that works for them. Meanwhile, we are also looking at how we can track their, what's it called? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Good answer. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.